Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and today I'm going to look in on my Red Wigglers, um, the cocoon only bins that are a year old. And today we're going to be a little corny. I found some corn in the bottom of my deep freeze that I, it is so old I don't have any intention on feeding it to my people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out how long it takes for them to eat an entire corn, raw corn, husk, silk, middle, everything. So I am just going to bury that under there and we are going to see how long it takes them to do that. So that was the red wigglers and then next the European night crawlers. So we will do the same thing and dig a bit of a pit in here and see what they can do with it. Alrighty. <laughs> so kind of an experiment. We had talked about doing an experiment with these guys and what they should be doing in the future. And so here it is. This is what we're going to do. We're going to be a little corny. Alright. Well let me know what you think of the experiment. Put your comments below. And let me know if you've ever done this, put like a whole ear of corn in there. And we're going to do a one week checkup on the corny bin. So let's take a look and see what the red wigglers are doing. It's been a week. So let's pick up the corn and see what's happening. Looks like they're kind of getting in that leaf a little bit. Down here at the other end. Yep, it looks like they're crawling in. Still feels pretty uh, substantial. I don't think they've done much in one week. But let's uh, bury it back up. Certainly is starting to turn color a little bit, and you can see them getting into it a little bit. So that's something. It's progress. Alright, then we'll go over here to the European night crawlers and see what they're doing. Well, it looks like they're also getting in between the leaves and starting to crawl in the corn part. Alright. Well, I'm going to put them back and let them continue on their way. And I'll bring you back in another week. So let's see what the red wigglers are doing with the corn here. Looks like they're starting to get into the leaves. Certainly hanging on here. Turn it over and see what's going on. So it looks like, I don't know, it seems like progress. It's a different color. So let me give them a little bit of grit and a little bit of bedding because I think that's probably going to make the bin a little wetter considering how wet corn is. So I'm going to give them a substantial amount of ground up eggshells and then I'm going to give them some just straight up paper out of my shredder. Try and absorb some of the moisture that's going to come out of the corn being broken down. All right, let's see what the European night crawlers are doing. Okay. Looks like they too are crawling into the leaves a little bit. Leaves are a little bit of a different color, so they're starting to degrade. Yep, there's one underneath. 
curling in underneath of the silk and the leaf. Alright, then I'm going to do the same thing for this side. I'm going to give them a healthy shake shake of ground eggshells and then a couple two or three handfuls of shredded paper and cardboard from my shredder. Not the usual moist bedding that I use but I'm hoping this will keep the bin a little bit stable as far as moisture goes. Alright, well that's that's it for this week. See you back in another week. First, take a look in at the European night crawlers and see what they are doing. Kind of move everybody over to the side here and see what the corn is doing. Looks like they're making progress. Oh, they're already starting to get in. Trying to leave it as intact as possible. Okay, I'm just going to bury that back down, cover that back up, and then let's switch hands and look over at the European night crawlers. Move all of that bedding off to the side. Let's see what this corn is doing. Well, I think they're doing about the same sort of quality of work here. I think they're getting into it, but we're only three weeks in. So I will, it's getting a little squishy. I will cover that back up and we will take a look at these guys in a week. Okay, let's look at week number four. Red wigglers. Kind of pull back the bedding I put in here and see what that piece of corn is doing. Looks like I'm starting to get a little bit of mold. And if you see, I'm opening up the I don't know, husk here. You can see that they're already getting into it, but it's kind of squishy now. It wasn't squishy before, so let's see. Oh, even in the even in the middle, you can see that they're attacking from both ends and meeting in the middle. Okay, I see their plan. All right, let's cover that back up with the bedding and go on to the European night crawlers. Bang out of the way here. Let's see what this piece of corn is doing. Wow, that's interesting. They've uh, managed to get the corn kernels loose from the cob, or they just fell out one or the other. But they look like they're making quite a lot of progress here. Let's look in the other see if I can find a, a middle place like I did with the other ones and see if they've broken into the middle. So not exactly the same. You can del definitely tell the corn itself is squishy and they are getting into it. Doesn't smell bad or anything. Right, cover it back up and see ya in a, another week. For me, it'll be a week. For you, it'll be a couple seconds. Okay, let's look and see what the European night crawlers are doing. You kind of see a difference here. The top is just totally castings. Let's see what shape that corn is in. So I'm getting some nice. Sh oh, oh my. They've made some progress here. There's no corn left 
and they've darn near eaten all of the the husk. Just a little bit of husk there. This is really wet. I'm probably going to leave the lid off of this for a little bit. A little bit of bedding down there. Look at that. Okay, so bury this back down again. Cover it up. Now let's see what the European night crawlers are doing. So I still see the the castings from just paper bedding and how small and how fine they are. Let's let's see what that corn is doing. Looks like the stalk end. Looks like there's a cocoon in there. Hmm. Let's see if I can find the corn. Looks like that's all there is to it. It's pretty amazing. Cover that back up, give them back their stock. Well, I don't know, should I call this experiment? I'm going to post this right now and see what you guys say. But I, I believe it's been about a month and they've both taken off and eaten a full corn. And do we call it quits or do we keep going? look at everything over the last six weeks. Alright guys, well if you like the video, give me a, well, not so muddy thumbs up. Click subscribe if you're not already a member of my worm family, and if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.